In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite alternative to the Stream Deck that'll give you that production value you're looking for without breaking the bank. Hi everybody, I'm Jason over at Mega Gremlin Media. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Mega Gremlin. And today, we're going to talk about the Stream Deck. What it is, what it does, and why there may be better alternatives out there for both your budget and for your production value. Today's video is not sponsored. Everything you see was bought at retail. As you know, the Stream Deck is a programmable keyboard with customizable keycaps. It's got LEDs on it. It'll let you launch sounds, it'll let you switch scenes in OBS and Streamlabs OBS. And really, it is good at what it does. But what it also does is empty your bank account. It's a pretty expensive device, and you may have something on your desk already, which will probably do most of it. Now, for me, I'm using this right here, the Logitech G600 mouse. And this is by far my favorite programmable interface for OBS. When I'm streaming, I hate to be distracted. I hate to have to hunt and peck on the stream deck for what I want to do. And with this, I can just execute my scene changes instantaneously without even having to look down once. Of course, that last one there, the final scene change, you got to see how we do it on the stream deck. Hey, if you're getting any value from this, do me a favor, hit that like button. Maybe consider giving me a subscribe. And uh, if you stick around for just a little bit longer, I'll show you how I have my mouse set up to do all this stuff. And now here's the bonus. I'm gonna show you how I set it up to gain complete control over OBS for about a third the cost of the smaller Stream Deck at the time of the video. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna download the Logitech G Hub software. You're gonna install it and you're gonna see this screen when you run it. Select your mouse there. And you're gonna see light sync, assignments, sensitivity, and select assignments. Now there's an important thing right here. This is the G shift button. This is the ring finger button on the mouse. And what that does is it changes the assignment of every other button on the mouse on the fly. This is really important and I'll show you why. So what we're going to do is if you set this to G shift while you're setting the keys up, you're going to go up to keys here. And you're going to see if you click left and right, you can see which buttons on the mouse you're working on. So here are all the side buttons and you can see I've already got them assigned F13 all the way through F24. And if you look down here in the scroll area, you can see they're all red. That means these assignments are shifted G9, the G9 button being the first one right there. Shifted G10, shifted G11, they're all assigned to F keys that don't appear on a normal keyboard, okay? F13 to F24, unless you have a pretty uh, amazing keyboard, you're not gonna have those keys on the keyboard but Windows recognizes them. And what's cool about this is it forces OBS to really only receive input when you're pushing that G shift button, which you can see is the ring finger button on the mouse. So what that does, that means when you're not pushing that G shift button, you can run a game, you can run software, you can do anything as normally without interfering with OBS. So we're gonna assign F13, F24, to all these G keys and really whatever order you want, it doesn't matter because then we're going to go over to OBS and set up the hotkeys and that's where the magic happens. Here we go. Go into the setup menu in OBS Streamlabs and you're going to see almost near the bottom of the left hand column, a little hotkeys thing. What happens is you want to switch to a scene. I got to be right back screen. I can hit the F18 button, which as we can tell here, F18 is the G14 button, which is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So if I hit that button right there, you can see it says F18 right there with the G shift button pushed. OBS will switch to my Be Right Back screen. And it's just that simple. So you go through every scene that you want to be able to jump to. I want to switch to my chatting scene, I hit F21 camera zoom and here's the way you program it okay so I want to let's see we'll go back up to the BRB screen All right want to do F18 which again that one right there we'll delete it for now boom 
There's nothing in there now. Click in there once. Hold the G shift button down. Hit the corresponding button and it'll put in the F18 key. Hit apply. And you can BRB.